what is going on YouTube so today is gonna be an epic day I'm hoping if everything goes well we are pretty much through buttoning in this car up I got a few more eyes and ends to do and we're gonna try to get that first start in this video as well as the first drive so without me talking anymore I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it try to get everything wrapped up you can see where we last left off we were working on the alternator so uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump back into it, throw you guys on the time lapse, get this thing buttoned up, and I guess I'll resume once I start putting fluids in. So the battery has been on this charger now for about two days and I'm pretty sure it's been ready but I just left it on just just to make sure that it, it was good but um, you can see is that a hundred percent now uh, on a 12 volt normal circuit and before I had actually jumped this car to get it in here so this is gonna really let us know that it charged it up or is this some BS so um again I, I left a link in the last video i'll leave a link in this description if you're interested in the tornado um they also have a tornado 1200 i believe and bro like this this one is only like 40 some bucks for a battery charge so you can't really beat that and i mean it's not like a it's not like one of those uh ones you would get from like lowe's or something or or um or like autos on like the bigger ones it's more like a trinkle charger but like you get this thing overnight and it'll charge your battery right up. And that's that's really pretty damn cool for 40 bucks. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this battery in. And then I gotta install the header and we should be good for a first start.
All right, so I got the old header throw back on there. I can't find what I did with the oxygen sensor, so it is a hole here, and I know we're gonna have a check engine light for that, but as soon as I can locate that, um, I'll get that installed as well. But other than that, I think we're pretty much good to go. As you can see, I rigged up this nice cold air intake for the time being. Um, I know it looks a little bit wonky because it's not, I want to say this piping was made for my CB7, so it's a little short. I really need to order one for this, but for the time being, this should work just fine. But guys, I think it's about time that we try to start this thing. So we got power in here, which is a good sign. Still don't want to sit in here, but I'm going to attempt to prime it and see if we got any leaks. Just once, twice, three times. Let's check for leaks. Everything looks dry. So far so good. So now we're gonna give it a start. I got y'all rigged up on the GoPro. I got, you'll see a cord kinda in the way, but I got it on my jump pack cause the GoPro has died. Um, I don't seem to have any clutch pedal. Okay, she pumped up a little bit. Yeah, no. So I think I'm at the, I think I'm gonna have to bleed this clutch. <laughs> Don't laugh at the wires, they come off that motor. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna take the wires off that, that the motor I took out of DJ car and put on mine because I don't want them red wires. <laughs> Can you see the spark? You can see it a little bit better, Mike. <laughs> That's a little rotor button. Rotor yeah. That's all it is. I ain't that should have do it like three hours. Like, say you drive that yeah. far. A little, I degrease the engine a little bit. Yeah, shit, a little man. Clean, shit. Boy, you know that damn purple shit. Man, ain't that shit like you use? Yeah, I just man. That shit the whole strong, thing, boy. They ain't get them wheels off, baby. Where that battery come from? It was originally in Phillips' car when he got it, oh. but he claimed it was too small, so he went and bought another one. Didn't say this for a tractor. Then the one in my wagon took a shit, so I swapped it out of the shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So as you saw from the last clips, Jeff just left, and we actually got this thing working um, without having to get a clutch cable. I thought I was going to get a clutch cable guy. Uh, we actually was able to tighten these fittings up and get them to stop leaking both this one here and the one at the bottom. They kind of built their own line right there almost like a brake line and it was leaking there so when I was trying to bleed it it was just it, it kept leaking so bad I couldn't get it to bleed. 
Then uh, we had very little uh, travel in the clutch, so we adjusted the, the rod that goes to the actual master cylinder, and that took care of that. So now, now we should be ready for a first drive. back from the first test drive guys and that was super sketch I had the GoPro mounted in the dash with a piece of tape and it, I guess the dash was kind of dirty so my tape didn't stick that well and it flipped off and I was trying to find the GoPro so I could continue videoing and the seat don't have any bolts in it so I mean like it was yeah it was folding back on me all that torque <laughs> but yeah, first drive went pretty damn good. Um, I still need to look into why it seems like it's not wanting to go but to 6,000. I don't know, maybe that's all that these 
cars are supposed to go to. Um, <clears throat> again, I'm not used to a stock setup, so um, maybe 6,000 is just where the limiters sat on the stock ECU. If it is, let me know in the comments so I know, but um, I don't know why I'd be looking for at least 6,500, and I know that's probably being a little crazy, but yeah. Other than that, the car is um, doing pretty damn good. Clutch feels pretty good. Um, it shifts good. It acts like it wants to die. It, like when you push the clutch in, it's idled really low. So I may try to adjust the idle or look into that a little more. But yeah, other than that, man, first drive seems pretty good. Power steering is beautiful. Um, next, all we got to do is have this interior done so that we can get it put back together and um, have that looking good. I got to try to work on the body, try to get this hefty dent knocked out here. Again, luckily it doesn't have any of the interior in it, like the ceiling part that's back there. So hopefully I can get here and kind of knock this up. I'm not trying to make it perfect cause I'm not a body guy, but if I can just get this up to where it kind of matches the other side, I'll be cool with that. Um, but yeah, that's it boys. We finally got that drive in. Again, if you're excited for what we do next, make sure you subscribe. And if this is your first time watching this channel, make sure you check the other videos out. Um, I am an Accord guy again, but I do have Civics as well. So yeah, check out my other content guys. But with that being said, I will catch y'all next time. Remember, respect all bills. Peace out.